friends welcome to my channel creative art my name is Dilma and today is a special day to give away a lucky subscriber glass painting kit from creative art today's lucky subscriber is Kalpana Singh from Karnataka glass painting kit includes a favorite glass colors set of 10 camel glass liners and OHP sheet every month creative art will give away a lucky subscriber glass painting kit who is really interested and need of colors so friends, please share this video and subscribe my channel so that we can help our subscribers to grow their talent. In today's video, we are going to make a glass painting for beginners too. All the materials required to make this beautiful glass painting are mentioned in the description box below with their links from where you can also buy them as well as shown in the video. To get this image, to use it as a reference, please click on the link www.creativearthome.com which is also my website. So enjoy painting friends. First of all, let's check out all the materials which we are going to require for this glass painting. First of all, we'll require fiberglass glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades. A reference which I'm going to use for my painting. OHP sheet, use it as a base. You can also use a glass if you want. For lining, I'm going to use 261 metallic gold camlin glass liner which is water based. And also for this uh, dots and the designing part, we'll also be requiring varied colors of Fevicryl 3D Cone Outliner. They're also available from Camel, that is Fabric Cone Liner. Okay, they're available in different colors. So whatever color you require, you can use for it. Other than that, we're going to require a tissue paper for cleaning and a tape for securing. So let's start. Our first tip is that we are going to place our OHP sheet on the reference or the black and white photocopy on the exact place where we need so here i have placed it and using tape i'll secure the sides now i'm using 261 metallic gold canon glass liner i'm going to start the lining part i'm going to start it from this side So the lining part is finally completed now. I'll let it get dry for at least 12 to 15 hours and then I'll show you how does it looks, okay? Here yeah, friends, as you can see that our lining part is finally completed and it has got dried up. So now I'm going to remove all the secure sides. I'll remove the tape. Okay, and after removing the tape, I'm going to place it on a plain white horizontal surface so that you can see the clear design so friends before coloring i'm going to make some purifying changes in my painting and now i'll be using my silver liner
So now friends for decorate flower pot I'll be using a combination of this different colors of acrylic liner. I'll just place alternate dots. I'm placing the pink dots in between this yellow dot. I'm going to use a purple color. I'll also make a few flowers over here using the same purple. And here using purple color I have made some flowers. Now I'll use a dark blue combination color. I'm using purple color here. And now Using yellow color, I'll make few flowers over here and then for just place a single red dot. Using my green liner, I'll spread this. Now friends, as our lining part is finally completed and it has got dried up, so here is how it looks. And now we are going to start coloring using Fabricator Glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades, okay? And I think first of all I should give colors to leaf. So I'm starting from here. I'm using a parrot green color. As this is a simple painting so I won't be including much shading parts. You can also shade if you want. So here I'm using a new color. This is a sea blue color. It's a combination of a blue and green and this is how it will look. I'm going to use the parrot green color. And now I'm going to use the crystal green color and again the pad green. The coloring of leaves is finally completed. Now we'll color the flowers. So here I have made a special color using pink and ultramine blue. This is purple and we have already made the shade. Color the flower as purple. I'm going to use pink. I'll do the same with this one. Now I'll use yellow. I'm going to use orange. To use simple dots of orange. The same we'll do with this flower. Now I'm going to use a sea blue color. And now I'm going to use my final color that is tomato red. I'll just fill up the color in light ways. And then I'm going to use a brown color and now I'm going to just place few drops of brown. Using the red color I'll just try to spread some of the brown. This is the same like we did with the pink and purple. Now for this flower, I'm going to do the same. I'll use it red. Now I'll use orange. Just place few drops on the tip of this flower. Do the same with this flower. And use a bit purple. Butterflies, I'm going to use yellow and in the center, 
orange then for the flower again I'll be using red then putting a few drops of brown and then I'm going to use orange on the tips of this flower to give it a bit shading making three dots inside this flower using my golden liner As you can see friends, I have also created a black border. After the black liner, I'm also going to color this black border using the same black glass color. So friends, here it is finally completed. So I let it get dry for at least 24 hours and then I'll show you how does it looks, okay? Yeah friends, this is how beautiful our glass painting looks when I have framed it. Please to give it a try as this is a very simple and easy glass painting I have made for beginners as this was a special request. If you did like this video friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.